In this video, we'll be looking at gamma distribution examples. So we're given that the mean is 24 and the variance is 192. The mean is in the form alpha times theta and the variance is alpha times theta squared. So let's set alpha theta equal to 24 and alpha theta squared equal to 192. Okay, so this is for the mean and this is for the variance. Now in order to solve these, you can either divide both of these or you can do a substitution. So let me show you both ways. You can take alpha theta squared and then divide it by alpha theta, which is 24. And so here you would get that theta is eight. And then from there, you can plug it into the mean here. You get eight alpha equals 24. So then alpha is three. You can also do a substitution. Since you know alpha theta is 24, you'll have 24 and then here it's alpha theta times theta. So you just need another theta equals 192. So then theta again is eight. So any of those two methods will work. And now we wanna find these different probabilities. But for that, we're going to be uh, using the probability density function. And specifically, we want to find the cumulative dis, uh, density function. So we'll be integrating this, uh, this function. Okay, so recall we said that alpha was 3, theta was 8. So we, we're going to make the substitution. So uh, on the bottom here, it was previously it was um, alpha minus 1 times theta to the alpha power. So, or rather it was gamma alpha. So it was gamma 3 sorry, uh, times 8 cubed. This was the denominator. And then gamma 3 is 2 factorial. 8 to the third is 512. So that was 1024. That's where you get the denominator. And the numerator, you had x being raised to the alpha minus 1. And then e to negative x over theta. So theta was eight, alpha was three. So now for the cumulative density function, this is what we have. And technically we should be using uh, different units here. So I'm just gonna, let's say, let's use y instead. It doesn't matter. So for us, so we wanna find the probability that x is less than or equal to 16. So 16 is going to be uh, the upwards uh, limit here. And then we'll be integrating this uh, density function. So when we do that, we get 0 0.032332. And to find the probability that x is between 8 and 32, basically, we're going to take the area uh, all the way up to 32, and then subtract the area all the way up to 8. And when you subtract these areas, what well, you're left is the area between 8 and 32. Okay. So you can split up into two separate integrals and then notice that that's the same thing as finding the area from 8 to 32. So if you want, you can convert it to one integral. And for that, you get 0 0.6816. And then finally, you want to find the probability that x is greater than 32. Well, you can use a complement for that. That's the same thing as saying one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 32, which that is one minus f of 32, and that's equivalent to that. The other approach was to say that probability x is greater than 32 is also the integral from 32 to infinity. So that's also um, acceptable. So either of these two methods, you get the answer is 0 0.6767.